All right, folks. Um, this uh, a couple of days ago, um, I put a tune out called "Sweet Revenge." Now, ordinarily, I'd do a preamble with a few ideas about what the song is about or, or how I wrote it. Uh, but if I'd have done that for this particular tune, it spoiled the ending of it. Um, so, a few years back, Claire and I went to stay in a place called Bed Gellert in Snowdonia, a beautiful place. And uh, Bed Gellert means Gellert's grave. Uh, and it's the subject of a legend based on the place. Gellert was a dog, um, a, a loyal dog of uh, Llewellyn the Great. And one day, Llewellyn leaves his dog in charge of his baby son to go out hunting. And he comes back to find his baby missing and the dog, the dog's mouth smeared in blood. So in a fit of rage, uh, he pulls his sword out to smite the hound and indeed smokes him to death. And after hearing the dog's dying yelp, uh, he then hears his baby crying and lo and behold, underneath the cradle that's been overturned, uh, he finds his baby unharmed, lying next to the dead body of a wolf that Gellert has obviously killed, protecting his son. So, um, in a fit of remorse, um, he organises a big cer ceremonial burial of the dog. Uh, but he can't get the dog's dying yelp out of his head and apparently never smiles. Uh, again in his life after that. It's based on, apparently, uh, an old Indian folk tale. I think it probably, the, the tale probably exists in most parts of the world in one form or another. Uh, but uh, my research would indicate it's from India and, it, and it's the Brahmin and the mongoose. And slightly odd version of that because the Brahmin's wife has given birth to a, a baby boy and a mongoose. Um, Make of that what you will. Anyway, the mongoose uh, substitutes for the dog and, and, and uh, is, is protecting his brother and ends up getting killed uh, in, in that tale as well. So, uh, my variation has um, Jimmy McCoy, a, a gangster, getting released from prison and seeking revenge on his rivals that are put in there. And in doing so, he enlists the help of a bent copper, Derek Dibble. And Dibble's what we call the police in Manchester from uh, Officer Dibble in Top Cap. Hey, quickest fucking Dibble, Scarpa. You get the picture. Uh, and Derek the Dibble knows that um, Jimmy's wife has been threatened by the gang and forced to give evidence. So when he um, arranged to meet in the park, he also arranges for... Uh, Jimmy's wife to be there, but before they can explain what's happened, uh, Jimmy pulls his gun and shoots his wife dead without realising it's her. Uh, so, of course, you know, the moral of the tale remain, remains the same. Uh, act in haste, repent at leisure. Uh, musically, uh, I've tried to keep it fairly simple, um, although I was quite pleased with a little kind of classically inspired riff that I used to start the tune and, and link the uh, choruses and verses. Um, and I also managed to, to shoehorn in a, a, a minor seven flat five chord, which is like that. Into the middle eight, it's a minor seven flat five, because that will be a minor seven. Flat five, that's what it sounds like. Always a good thing, I think, if you can get one of those in. Uh, that's it, if you've not heard the tune, perhaps that might inspire you to go and have a listen to it. Um, it's on the Al YouTube site, which of course uh, I would be eternally grateful if you would subscribe to that. If you've not done so already, and click the little um, bell button, which alerts you to when I put the new post up. Um, and that's it. Hope you like it. And I'll see you in the morning for the intro quiz.